good, y'all? What's good, y'all? We back. It's your boy, 4th, You know, already know what it is. It's Z2 Motorsports, man. Anything cars, you know what we got going on. So, listen. Um, just going through my videos of all the stuff that I be recording. You know, I record a lot. I record a lot. And, you know, I have a couple, different couple of YouTube channels. But, um, so, today, I was put in, going through it, I had a video where I got the Gen 3 motor in my Gen 4 truck. So basically what I did was I took the motor out of my 06 Chevy Tahoe and put it in my 010 Chevy Suburban, right? Um, if you look through the videos, there's videos of different stuff, different stuff I had to do to get there or whatever. This was the last piece of it. The truck's been running great. I've been driving the truck now for like two weeks. Um, what I did was I used the Gen 3 oil pan and not the Gen 4 oil pan. So what happens is the cross member that goes under the on the bottom of the oil pan, a Gen 3 oil pan will not fit with the Gen 4 cross member. You cannot use the Gen 3 cross member and put it on the Gen 4 car, you know? So basically what I had to do was I had to notch the cross member to fit the oil pan. So this is what this video is. Video is basically showing you how I did it, Caught it, put it in, fit perfect, everything went on. You know how it goes down, it's 4 fifth, man. That's how we do. I'm gonna keep bringing the videos to you. Check out my other video, uh, YouTube channel, Zone Life TV. Anything drama related to the neighborhood, anything else that's not cars is on there for my channel. Um, But check out the video, like, share, and subscribe, man. It's your boy 4 fifth. Yes, See, that's how y'all notch it. Feel me? When y'all fuck up and you put the Gen 3 oil pan in the Gen 4, you gotta notch the damn thing. You feel me? That's it. Child, baby. See that notch? Yeah, oil pan in. Yeah. That's how you put that Gen 3 oil pan in that Gen 4 truck. Now, y'all stop playing, boy. It's the LS Monster, bitch. You feel me? Yeah.